So today is the day we're going to start with a little office desk. As you can see, it's very dilapidated and patched everywhere. It's really taken apart in so many ways. This everything is loose and broken. So just as a preview, the top is cracked there. The drawers look very bad. We will definitely lose this. And then they've drilled so many holes in this poor thing. Let me just get to that side. The leg is split. It's really in a bad state. So this will be quite the challenge. Let's see if we can get it done. So as a start to this project, I'm going to start disassembling first. Take it apart and see what we end up with. I'm going to take the top off, take the drawers out and take lots of these screws that's been drilled everywhere, take them out to see if we can fix all the mortises and tenons. There's a little brace here between the leg and the cupboard or the drawer part that is missing. Make one of those and then let's see what we can do with it. of them and I've also done for the same customer one a few years ago but it was a standard size big one the normal government office desk shall we call it this one is just a miniature version of that and for that reason I would like to restore it otherwise this would have not been worth it it's really really in a dilapidated state state and I will show you now why but because it's smaller and because it's unique, it's the first one I've seen of this size. For that reason, I would love to restore it and I'm going to put some extra effort in to restore this one. Let me show you the problems we got and then we take it from there. Right, just as a quick summary of what we got to deal with. I think the top is probably one of the biggest problems I've got. It was attached on the end here with concrete nails to the base so those holes except for the holes there's also some staining around it that will fix lots of burn marks the burn marks unfortunately it looks like somebody left a cigarette or something a few times here yeah? and the one is exceptionally deep and I don't think we're gonna get all of that out maybe a bit of an inlay or something in there to get rid of that there's holes right through this is an 8 mm hole right through there's a 6 mm hole right through where they drilled it and screwed it to the drawer box lots of coffee stain coffee mug stains one checking mark so this is I think if I can save this I'll be able to save the table so I'm going to start with this this is all the hardware that came out of the table as I disassembled there's anything like I said from concrete nails drill bits in one of the holes broken off drill bit so you are different screws flat edge star points there's everything in here even some uh, self taper screws held it together there's some of the parts we're gonna remake like for example this one brace that keeps the leg to the draw box there's no tenons left as you can see we actually have some chewing gum we can maybe uh, use it for filling or something but this one I'll have to remake definitely the other one actually got some tenons left and parts of the leg is still glued to it this one we can save and use the main leg 
on the one side I can save this the brace that's from this leg towards the drawer box that is gone so we'll have to remake that just we've got the holes to fill I think this thing was drilled with a shotgun I don't know what the plan was with this but we'll have to fix that but this is I can save this I'm sure the drawers are not in too bad state one of the locks is missing I'm gonna try and find a lock and then also some keys for the locks I should be able to find some they were quite simple keys the handles that was on the drawers are just blocks of wood looks like a dog chewed on it but uh, they're definitely not going to go back to the drawers I'm going to see if I can find some time period or some period related I don't know what you call it, how do you say that? But anyway, I'm going to try to find some proper handles for it period correct handles, that's the word I'm looking for uh, for the drawers there's a few holes in the drawers but that we can all fix the drawer box itself it's quite steady and sturdy a little bit of fixing to do all the panels are loose like they should be and uh, this is not too bad this we can save so guys I'm gonna start with the top see if I can save that because if I can save this this table can be saved I don't want to make a new one it's gonna look wrong I would like to save this old one and put the old one back on it so let's see what we can do with this I don't know what you think guys but I think this is worth saving I got most of the burn marks out and the coffee stains I got out there's a little bit of a that deep burn mark the shade left but we'll see if we can do something with that the holes we will definitely close and I will definitely redo the border so there's a bit of hand sanding now left but I think this came out very very nice it's worth it we're gonna save this table Oh, and then just another little on the time lapse where I've put this through the drum sand it looks like I've sanded quite a lot off but I started on 21 millimeters and I'm now 19.7 millimeters so it's less than 2 millimeters that I took off but I still think it's worth it so I've just decided to make the supports between the legs and the drawer box to redo both of them because even the one it's got some tenon left half of it is destroyed so I'm gonna remake them they were made from Maranti which is a quite a very soft and a very light wood and I'm not gonna make them from Maranti since we are redoing the little desk let's make it better and I'm gonna make them from Kiat of course the drawer fronts the tabletop everything is Kiat I thought I'll just add this as well 
So I'm sacrificing one plank of kiat. I've just chopped it up into lengths to include two new tenons on both of them. And then I mark them out. I will now cut this on the bandsaw and then just finish off the curves on the bobbin sander and then by hand. And I think this will be quite a good upgrade for the little desk. If you can see there in the back I've also started gluing up some parts for the towel rack slash ladder we're making for another lady from cedar wood. I love cedar wood, it's a gorgeous wood to work with. And uh, you'll see more of that also soon to come. But it's getting cold now, so I'm gonna call it a night. We'll continue with this tomorrow. So to remake the old parts that was made from Aranti, I'm gonna make them from Kiat, like I said. I've just cut one so long. I made it a bit thicker and uh, a bit heavier because between the draw box and the two legs on the outside, it's only these two and one little strut in the bottom that keeps this the whole thing together. So I decided on going a bit wider just for a bit more strength in this. I've made one so far, just rough cut, I haven't sanded or finished anything yet, just made the tenons. So I'm going to make another one and quickly show you how I've done it. I'm just mark this one out now quickly, so I'm going to cut it out on the bandsaw, just the shape, and then make the tenons. So let me show you. So I've set up my marking gauge to mark the center of my board, as you can see there. And then my other marking gauge that got the two pins, I've set it up for 10 millimeter wide tenon. And with that, I'll just make my mark right through and also on the sides. And I'll show you now why on the sides. Let me make it marker to show you. Make it darker. I just draw a pencil line through it. And then also on the sides. And that's basically going to be the width of my tenon. So I'm very lazy when it comes to making mortars and tenons and there's a few ways of doing it and I'm going to show you my quick way of doing these type of tenons. So I cut the worst of the tenon with a bandsaw and uh, it's not the right way to do it but it's my way of doing it. can see I'm not even close to the line on the bottom but as long as I'm on the outside of the line that doesn't bother me I'll show you now how I'm gonna fix that so I've set the height of my blade to the depth of my shoulder and I'm gonna cut the shoulders now quickly up to the line and take it from there
And that's now the basics done and now just for finishing. So to get on the line where I want to be, I just clamp the workpiece and take my small little shoulder plane and then take away up to the line. Now I'm on both lines on the sides. Just get the other side done, then we're there. The shoulder plane is very nice because the blade goes up to the corner and it cleans up the corners quite nicely. Break the corners a little bit. And that's now ten millimeter ten and done. All I have to do now is cut my hand with a hand saw. I'm gonna cut my ten and shorter. then just use a file to tidy it up That's my thin and cut. So guys for this week what we've done is I started filling all the little holes what I call shotgun holes everywhere it's been everywhere in the leg piece I haven't done anything to the draw box yet I've sanded the top top came out amazing still fine sanding to do and redo the edge on the tabletop I've remade 
the two pieces or the three pieces actually if you take this one in consideration that comes between the leg part and the draw box plus the two it's gonna go there on top I remade these because those were very thin broken and it was made from um, Maranti so I made them from Kiat now still lots of sanding to do routering to do to round over this edge because this is where your legs is gonna go past I've done the tenons I showed you how I've done the tenons that's my easy way of doing tenons you'll still see when I do new tenons mortise and tenons I've got a jig that they call the trend mortise and tenon jig it's a very nice jig and I love that jig but that I only use when I do something from scratch for a restoration when it's a square peg like this and when the mortises aren't all the same size I make them by hand to make them fit to the old holes like you can see there so these don't fit yet they're not 100% there yet they're close but they're not all the way there so there's still a bit of refining to do there on both of them this hole looks like it's been hit by a bomb so it's not all the way there but we'll get them a final fit and then of course this I've cut out of an off cut from one of the parts that I've cut out of here I just cut a leg piece that I'm also going to put in here then to brace between the legs and the draw box on top there so guys that's what we've done I've started sanding and uh, lots of holes to fill lots of reinforcing to do but we're getting there I actually enjoy this project very much it's a gorgeous little table and I would like to give it a new lease on life and to do it properly we have to remake a few things this old braces that was in here is just dilapidated and not strong enough not finished well they don't even look the same so I don't like them and since we're restoring it let's do it properly and I really want to make it something that can maybe last another few years and give somebody some pleasure so yes we've done lots of fabrication this week for the week coming lots of finishing to do on this little table and if all goes well by the end of next week we can put varnish on this if I can get it together the week coming so if you've seen me use quite a lot of hand tools this week and hand tools has definitely got its place in the workshop even in the modern workshop so having a shop plane around and I've got quite a collection I love planes hand planes I collect them just for the fun of it but I do use them now and then and to have them sharp to be able to take a piece of wood off and plan something like this is very very satisfying so having a sharp plane and a few sharp tools around hand tools it's always worth it I don't work with hand tools very often I like my machines but now and then the project calls for something like that so guys we had some rain this week I couldn't record every evening because we had, it's very noisy in my workshop I just got the tin roof and then it's no use recording you won't hear a word I'm saying or see what I'm doing so it was a nice week we were busy we had our first rain for this season I think it's a bit early but we'll see maybe the season is going to change a bit earlier than what we think and uh, I enjoyed this week it was a nice week so guys have a nice week stay safe stay healthy make some dust